Guys, as you can see, I still have the original OEM headlights that come on the new edge. It has the typical amber three fins on each side of the car, which it just, it just doesn't go well. It's not a good look. And with any paint scheme you got, the mineral gray here, it doesn't look terrible, but it's just, it's a, it sticks out like a sore thumb. The clear uh, lenses on the side is just gonna look a lot cleaner on this car. Also, I'm having some clear coat issues on this one and it, you know, eventually it's just gonna get worse. So I caught a deal on LMR in our Black Friday sale and got a new set. Here's a closer look of the new ones here, guys. Inside of these is a matte black housing rather than the gloss that's inside the OEM. And here are those beautiful clear corners. Don't have to see that bright orange anywhere from a mile away. It's now gonna look really clean and sleek. One thing great about these new edge headlights is it's literally just these two rods that are holding it into place. So easy as one, two. If you pull it out, you're gonna have the uh, headlight assembly back there. Just a quick little tab that's holding that together. And you're also gonna have the uh, turn signals tab. So, as you see, just little clips holding it. Just unclip it and pull it out. All right, so pulling those out. It's gonna look like that. Nice and simple. So your new headlight. We're gonna have these little pieces of tape just to uh, stop any water or condensation getting inside. So we'll just go ahead and peel those off. So on the original one, the turn signal housing assembly right here, just spin it counterclockwise, pull that out and you'll see the bulb. Look at this thing. Pretty old. So with my purchase of the new headlights, I also purchased these off LMR. For the Solar Series Platinum, Xenon, Krypton, bright white look. I'm not looking for super bright where it blinds other motorists, but I wanna make sure it looks good and it's better than the ugly yellow uh, OEM color. So we're gonna stick the turn signal bulb um, inside the headlight housing here. Um, yes, I have to put this ugly amber bulb back in there. I don't, I didn't think about it uh, when I purchased the headlights and the, uh, the white lights. I didn't think about replacing this one. So it's just gonna go in here. You see how easy it is to get back um, into these things. So quick fix down the road, but right now they serve the purpose. So you're gonna stick these in here. And you're gonna spin it clockwise and that's in. So a good rule of thumb is to go ahead and clean behind the headlight lens and the bumper. I mean, you pulled it off the car, why not? You don't wanna keep your Mustang dirty. Guys, I can't stress to you enough, please be very careful with the clips on your um, assemblies here. I'm, I've broken one side of the clip here that holds the original light bulb in. You just gotta pull up on the tab, pull this out. But be very careful. I didn't think it would be that brittle, but it was. And this one's just gonna slide right on there. Like so. No issues. All right guys, so it's plug and play now. Gently lay this on the top of your bumper. All you're pretty much doing is pushing the bulb inside the back of the housing. Just want to make sure that there's this ring that comes with the new and the old one has one as well. Make sure you seat it on the bulb. And when you push the bulb into the housing, you wanna make sure you line up this ring here with the headlight housing and you're just, you're gonna spin it until it locks. So once you get the headlight bulb as well as the turn signal bulb in, just go ahead and easily push your headlight in there. Like it's where it needs to be, of course. Very 
direction of what you're doing. Well, worst case scenario is you just have to pull the hooks back out and do it again. Bam, look at that. Clear lenses on the side. Nice tight fitment. It looks great. It's sleek. It's subtle, but that's all you need. You don't need to look like you're working for a construction company and you're trying to flag down traffic with all that orange. I just think this looks great. It's such a good look. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the other headlight on the car, which again, it's just a plug and play, hold one off new one on it's the same steps so let me get that out of the way and i'll show you the end result so the right side has the new one the left side still has the old one uh, unfortunately this video is not doing it justice in person the right side is just completely bright white and the left is that typical ugly uh, off-white halogen see exactly how clean that looks Alrighty guys, let's see that reveal. Yeah, that's clean. Sleek. Looking good. Also, I want to tell you guys is right here on both of the headlights, you can uh, adjust the beam to go up or down if it's off alignment or not. You don't want to have it up pointing to the sky or pointing down to the road. So again, uh, you just usually you can put it in your garage, close your garage door, put a piece of tape for a line or, or use something to reference it and just make sure they're both lined up. I'm gonna do that later tonight because it's bright out here. I just wanted to touch base on that. One thing I'd like to do is do a shout out to LMR. My first set of headlights that I got, I actually got them on the night of Black Friday and there was a quarter size hole on the side of my box and what was peeking through that hole was one of the rear brackets of the headlights. Unfortunately, it destroys the integrity of the headlight and it's gonna to need to be repaired. And if I'm gonna spend money on something new, I want it right. So LMR took care of business for me, immediately sent me a new package right when they got my message. And uh, they got to me within about two days and they're completely sincere and sorry. I understand it's Black Friday and you have a lot of packages, UPS throws them around, but quality customer service, everything came out great. So shout out to LMR for being there for us. So that's gonna to conclude today's video. I think it was a, a nice, subtle appearance mod on my new edge. And right now uh, I'm gonna start looking into some other features until I decide to go to the big boy route and get some new uh, wheels, tires, and things of that nature. Thank you guys again for stopping by and supporting my channel as much as you can. Stick with me. Follow me on Instagram on Florida underscore 2V, so Florida 2Valve on Instagram. I'll be taking photos of it every once in a while and keeping you guys up to date and letting you know uh, when my next videos are if you haven't subscribed already on YouTube. Again, thank you so much for your time.